how's it going guys, Captain Cuba here, and today I'm gonna talk about one of the most requested topics in this channel, the Boots of Hermes. It's undeniable that God of War 3 is by far the game in the series with more weapons and items Kratos collects throughout his journey. These include the Claws of Hades, the Bow of Apollo, the Head of Helios, the Nemean Cestus, the Nemesis Whip, and the Boots of Hermes. All of these items and weapons made God of War 3's combat system engaging and rewarding. Sadly, by the end of the game, Fear Suit sets Kratos with a thunderbolt so powerful that it destroys all of his items and weapons. I grow weary, <laughs> now, if we take a close look where all his weapons lay destroyed by the blast, we won't see the boots of Hermes anywhere, and that's because Kratos still has them on. Meaning that when Kratos decided to leave Greece behind, he only had the Blades of Chaos and the Boots of Hermes with him. Now, for those of you who haven't played God of War 3, the Boots of Hermes were used for a number of things. Scaling walls, charging at enemies, and dashing in the air. I'm sure these were all useful abilities that made Kratos' journey to Scandinavia easier. But is there any evidence that Kratos took the Boots of Hermes to Scandinavia with him? Actually, yes, we can see the Boots in the E3 2016 demo of the game. If you stop the video at second 33, you will get a glimpse of them in the corner. But for some reason, they never made it into the final game. And believe me, I have looked inside Kratos' cabin for a good 30 minutes just trying to find them. So what happened to them? Most likely Kratos hit them just like he did with the Blades of Chaos because he didn't want to tell Atreus the brutal way in which he got them. It's also possible they never made it into the final game due to time constraints. We know that Santa Monica Studios was working on the game up until the very last day. It's also possible the team didn't feel the boots belong in the game as God of War 4 pacing is slower than God of War 3's and having a Kratos dashing all over the place wouldn't agree with the philosophy of the game. But if you ask me, I say it was a wasted opportunity. I believe out of all the items in God of War 3, the Boots of Hermes would fit in God of War 4 the best. This is because the game no longer uses fixed camera angles, and does not require a lock-on system like it did in God of War 3, which is something I truly hated about the Boots. When I finally got him, I thought it was gonna add speed to the game, but I always felt slowed down when I needed an enemy to lock on. I said it would work even better in God of War 4, because the game offers the player a movable camera. I can just imagine being able to aim with L2 and pressing X to dash wherever I want. The boots would also serve as another item the player could customize with runes. There could be a traditional fire rune that mirrors the attack in God of War 3, but there could also be one that leaves a trail of ice, or hell, even one that allows the player to walk on water for a short distance. If Jesus can do it, why not Kratos, right? <laughs> so if they were to come back in God of War 5, how could Santa Monica pull it off in the story? Well, if I was a writer in the studio, the first thing I would do is not make a big deal about them. The Boots of Hermes don't require a big emotional moment like the Blades of Chaos got in God of War 4. The game could simply start with Kratos using them, and an explanation of how he got them could be given to Atreus in one of the boat rides. This wouldn't betray Kratos' character as he already told Atreus that he killed many who were deserving. This would also give Mir an opportunity to make a funny comment about the interesting character that was Hermes. But what do you guys think? Do you think adding the Boots of Hermes to Kratos' arsenal makes sense for God of War 5? Make sure to leave a comment down below. I want to thank all of my members for their monthly contributions. People like Stefak, Solo XD, and Reap210 really go above and beyond to help the channel. I would also like to thank all of my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. My channel would be nothing without you guys. And that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching, and remember, go forth in the name of the Boots of Hermes.